What's up, everybody? Love to all. I'm gonna today. I'm gonna talk about being aware of your surroundings, and by that, I'm saying be a light in a dark place. And I, today, I've realized like that everyone. In their life is going to be in a dark place and everyone in their life is going to be not aware of their surroundings and when you are there and not aware of your surroundings simply become aware and by becoming aware you can't become aware of every single thing at one time it's just one thing at a time it's just one little step at a time one little sign at a time and you taking that sign and just listening to that sign to the fullest and doing what you feel that sign is telling you to do. And I, I know that I am a, a light in a dark place at all times. I am a light in darkness. And that's, that's just been me all my life. Out of my family, I say that I'm the, I'm the bad kid. Out of six kids, I'm, I'm the worst. I've been through the most. I've did like the worst things. But I'm also the light in the dark place. I've also shown them that no matter what, you can still be yourself and you can follow your dreams. Because every everybody in my family, all my friends, all the people around me, I've talked to them about your third eye and I've told them about it. And I've taught them some things I know and tried to help them on things that they need help with. And they've helped me with things I need help with plenty of times, numerous of times daily everybody even my youtube channel my family on here my family my physical family my spiritual family all of them help me during hard times and helping me be a light in a dark place and by doing that all you simply have to do is just be live through the heart space at all times and you will be a light in a dark place when you see when you see someone needs help help them when you see someone needs love, when you see someone needs comfort, comfort them. When you feel that it is right from the heart space, if you feel that it is not being from the heart space and not right, don't do it. But if you feel the nudge to do it, do it. Because resisting is only restraining you and holding you back, hence a lower vibration. When you live through the heart space and live through love, that's the highest vibration in the world. That's the highest vibration in the universe ever. And nothing tops that when you speak from when you let God flow through you and you speak through God or God speaks through you then nothing can stop that nothing can overpower that nothing can be more than that nothing can be better but God and we have to realize that it is not us being a light in a dark place it's actually God just speaking through us and being through us in the darkness because God is everything. God is us. We are gods. We're not God, but we are gods because this energy comes through us and we create the same way he creates. But we use his energy because we are all sons and daughters of him. And honestly, we're not even sons and daughters. We're just beings of him of it not him because god is both god is female and male and everything so you can't just label it as one thing but love and kindness to everybody that was just a short video i just feel like i had to say that love y'all more videos coming soon if you want to see anything let me know just comment or hit me up on instagram at kd6668 in dz it's going to be in my link below in my description box and please like share subscribe and more music coming soon. I just finished my second song last night called Special. That'll be out within a month. I'm looking for a studio I can go record at. I hit people up today. But I love y'all people. I love everybody. I love everything. Just work on being yourself, even when you're in a hard spot. And when you are, go to nature and just relax. And I promise you, you will come out feeling better and like a new person. Because last night, I'm gonna tell y'all this quick story real quick. Last night we went to this um, wildlife park because 
I was in Houston, but I came back to College Station. And we were at the park. Then I was meditating and I moved to a spot. Something told me to go put my, put every put four, all four of mine, my limbs in the water. Just my hands, not my limbs, but my hands and my feet. So I took my socks off. I was grounding myself. I was meditating and that idea popped into my hand. I was like, what, into the water? I'm not supposed to swim in there, but something told me to do it, so I just did it. And after I did it, me, me and my girlfriend, we were meditating and stuff, and I, told, I, I went over there, I went to the rocks, like around the big pond, because I was sitting in front of the pond, and I went like to this little tree area, did that, and then she came over there, we were talking, and something told me to just like get the phone from her and then tell her to go back over there in that area and meditate. She went over there, she meditated, she got some good information. She was listening to her intuition and she seen a snake rise up out the water, a big snake, like an anaconda or a python. And then something had told me to just go over there, but I was still praying and I was still talking. And then something was like, go. Like, something was like, I get, like, God was like, I get the point, like, you're, Thank you, thank you for being thankful. Like I was just being thankful, and just praying. He's like, okay, like you can hear it in your head. God's like, okay, I, I got you. Go, go over there and get her. And she seen the snake. She seen it rise up out the water, just maybe like three feet. And then she closed her eyes and she was just like, I'm not afraid or whatever. She said, said it's not. She's not afraid. But I went over there and I seen the water. She seen. We were talking again. We went over there back oh yeah she came back over there no 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 i walked over there this bird the birds that always do when i talk but i gotta tell you another story too another video walked back over there and then we were talking and then we seen like a big movement in the water like something was just like moving in there swimming and i was like maybe it's like a like a beaver or something or like a otter or something. i don't know something she, we were like, I don't know. But then we seen it moving and it came like closer to us. So I got the flashlight out on the phone and I was looking at it and I seen a big snake head. And I've been out there before, I've seen a lot of snakes, like little bitty snakes, like not too big, just little normal snakes that are out there. And I seen it and it just stopped. And it was just like looking at me, like from the light, I guess it just stopped. And it was just like looking in the water. It didn't rise up, but it was just looking. Like, like, I can only see maybe three feet of his body or four feet of his body. And I was like, that's a fucking python. That's like an anaconda. That's something that's not supposed to be out here. It's too big. Like, kids are walking around here and adults are walking around. It can kill, it can kill us, period. It can harm us. But I was just like, damn, that's crazy. Like, that shit is not supposed to be there. But... That was a little crazy story that happened last night, but I had another spiritual awakening. And as I was dipping my feet into the water, she had her little star thing out and she was like putting it around everywhere. And then as she put it right over my head while I was dipping my feet into the water, the Leo sign popped up and I, my zodiac sign is Leo. I was born August 13th. And I just seen 831 when I said that. And my birthday is 813-1995 and 31 backwards. Is 13, but I mean, I got even plan to just say that, but it just all happens. This is God talking through me and just leading me and just trying to show my physical body that He is there and live through my spirit and stop trying. My, my problem is just stop trying to find a key to success. There is no key to success, there's only the now moment. And if you live through the now moment, you let God speak through you and open doors for you because you can't force it open. If you let God open it for you, then you can walk through it and be led by him. But loving kindness, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and please go at me on Instagram. Just reached 5,000 followers, and I'm going to ascend higher and get more and more and more. And on here, I'm getting more and more and more subscribers every day. Please leave a comment and a like. Love you guys. Katie Benz, Katie Six Benz, The Movement. Love y'all. I'm out.